everyone! Today we're going to read a book called Eating Fractions by Bruce McMillan. Here we can see a whole banana. On the next page, we are cutting the banana into halves, which means two equal parts. Here are the halves of the banana. One for you and one to share with a friend. Here is a whole muffin. Now the muffin has been cut into thirds. Thirds are three equal parts. Look at the whole pizza. The pizza has been cut into fourths, which are four equal parts. Here is a whole ear of corn, and they cut the corn into halves, which is two equal parts. Here is a whole jiggly pear cake. They cut the jiggly pear cake into thirds, three equal parts. Here is a whole strawberry pie. And they cut the strawberry pie into fourths, four equal parts. The dog even got some too. Now let's look at a couple examples of halves and fourths using some of my favorite foods. Our learning goal is to divide a shape into two and four equal shares and name the shares. We start by looking at a whole graham cracker. It's a whole because it has not been broken into equal parts yet. The number that we use to represent a whole is the number one. The graham cracker can be broken in half by splitting it down the center so that we have two equal parts. Since the graham cracker is split into two equal pieces, each piece represents one half. This means that two halves make one whole. Since the graham cracker has been split into four equal parts, each piece is representing one fourth of the graham cracker. Sometimes we say one quarter, which means the same as one fourth. If you put all the pieces back together, you still have one whole graham cracker. Here is one whole Hershey bar. It's still considered a whole because I have not broken it into any parts. The number we say to represent a whole is one. Since the Hershey bar has been broken into two equal parts, each part is called one half. We could also say that each part is one out of two. When the Hershey bar is broken into four equal parts, each part is considered one fourth, or one out of four parts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.